What's going on world? Welcome back to channel 3.4. This is another episode of Music Felt by Me. Let's get right into this. Screwface John did a like for that remix in response to Samad Savage saying that no one can do what he did on the like that instrumental. Samad Savage says he's got the best like that verse in general. Bold take. Haven't heard some odds though, so I don't want to die on the hill of something I'm un uninformed about. Haven't heard some odds. Maybe I'll react to that later. Right now we're getting into screw faces. Screw faces, uh one of my favorite rappers on YouTube. So uh, I always try to react when he drops. So let's get right into this. It, it'll be nice to kind of take a break from uh, all the chaos that's going on. Um, there's a lot of stuff I still got to record. I know Quavo responded. <clears throat> We're going to check that out. Um, well, like I said, we'll get into some odd stuff too. So let's see. But uh, screw face, John. Let's see how he screwed up that uh, like that remix. I'm not saying screwed up as a personal insult. I'm saying screwed up because his name is screwed. That's what he calls it. Screwed up Saturdays normally. But uh, let's get right into it. If I say it, I mean it. If you say you the greatest, prepare to be playing some demons. Faces the meanest. Got you rapping in front of the church because you facing a demon. Take them to clean this. Because I'm watching these niggas. That's how I be staying the cleanest. Baby, I'm feasting. Mm. I'm just going to be just mm. I'd be washing them. That's how I'd be staying the cleanest. Okay. All right. And plus, I got you rapping in front of a church. Because that's, that's what happens when you're facing a demon. Or that's what happens going up against a demon. Something, something along those lines. Send text and make sure your next step is on a sem text. Sem text. I'm not sure if that's a real thing or if it's just like from Call of Duty. Was it Call of Duty from a video game? But it's like a, it's like a landmine, right? It's like I think I want to say the sem text. You could like throw it and it would stick to something, whatever. But yeah, nice little bar there. I send text and make sure your next steps on a sem text. I like the inverting the. MX, your next step. Let's see. About to sing, bitch. My pen hits the pad, and that shit is law. No amendments. I'll send text and make sure your next step is a sent text. Come on, bitch. Moral of the story is don't send threats. Can see an F and N for an SMS full of pages. Let's get it, bro. I'm good in this mad city like Kendrick. So do not be a hero unless you know the pain. Just I'll break no like easy. I'm I'm good in this. I'm good in this mad city like Kendrick. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then don't be a hero unless you know the Avengers. All right, all right. Screws is fucking body in this. He sounds really good on this. It's around. This might be one of those beats, though. This is not to take away from Screws performance here. But it's kind of like uh, What's Poppin', right? Where everyone that did a remake sounded like they, they snapped on it. This might be one of those beats, too, where it's just like if you got the right energy and you definitely got a bar out, but you could. I think I think a lot of people be able to sound good on this instrumental. It's a great beat. I break nose and like Weezy, you'll just pop up with your face swole. Oh man, what is going on with Wayne's face, by the way? Is it like some dental thing or whatever. That's yeah, his. his. This whole face changed, man. Uh, oh, yeah. They pinned it back out like J. Cole. Yeah, you wouldn't really say, yeah, I get it. Yeah, these dudes are about to back out. <laughs> They're fitting the back out like Jay. Uh, just kind of kind of leads it there. Facts. 
Facts, facts. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, yep. Yep. It was tough because Benzino dropped, uh, I forget the name of his first is. And then he did Rap Elvis, whatever his first is was. And I want to say he actually got to Rap Elvis before I seen YouTubers starting to respond to Benzino. And I, and I even tweeted like, well, one good thing about this battle is, this Benzino thing is no one's responding on behalf of Eminem. And then like that night, I think it was DK that fucking put out a diss to Benzino. I was like, well, it was fun while it lasted. Fuck. <laughs> it was just, it was crazy. I mean, DK's record was good, but it's just, I think it's so weird. I think it's so weird when rappers do that. It's so opportunistic and strange to me. It's just, I, I don't know. guys 12 like four trice like four three times or 12 like four trikes he might be saying like a tricycle bike the trike in some form or fashion whether he's saying trike as in tricycle or trice like three times four times three is 12 Steel dope as a coke heist? Like steel dope? Coke heist? Steel? Also, I'm still dope as a coke. You know right. I'm still dope as a coke heist. I ain't trying to be an activist. I'm trying to be some activist. I'm leaning a nigga like some coke sprite. Mm. Cold red. You know how to code it to code, right? My cop of candy code of code is Mike Jones and Cold Five Smoke Rise. Mm. Nigga, my shit. Code red. You know I'm cold, right? I lean the, uh, I got these guys leaning like coal sprite. And I just decoded the code I might go and cop it candy coated <laughs> like Mike Jones and Ofa Jesus. <laughs> doper than the Ozarks, but fuck that dude's whole wife. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, Wendy Bird. Wendy Bird, one of the great... Uh, great rivals, but not... I, guess, I don't know, man. She she played an interesting role. Uh, yeah, that uh, Ozarks is... If you have not seen the Ozarks on Netflix, do yourself a service and definitely check it out because it's so good. But yeah, Wendy, Marty and Wendy Bird. I felt so bad for Marty in a lot of those situations. Oh, life. Man, you could survive my old lives. Probably would have died off a of shit I wrote in 09. Oh, my, that's actual. There's some shit I had to do. I just passed the back to you. Caught him back through the lateral. They snapped the screw. I gambled and scrambled and never passed to you. Because I know that you lack in the passion that's in your attitude. But when I get this touchdown, nigga, show your gratitude. Or we gon' have your bitch truck, your longitude and latitude. To glad of you. The game is full of races. Tell them blow pipe. Suckers black as Uncle Ruckers. Deepest are they so white. Homie told me don't you worry about them. They got no life. But only have a black dash. Fuck you for your whole life. Oh, oh let's go. You know, obviously, I've, I've been a big anti-no-life shack YouTuber. Not a, not a big fan of his at all. This feels like it's about no life because they said they tell me don't worry about him because he got no life. And he's talking about these uh, pandering uh, reactors and stuff. So that's 
that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was good, man. I, I got to check out some odds and see which one was better, but I like this one a lot. Uh, I lean more towards screw style of writing. Um, anyway, I just like the way he raps, so, you know, there might be some bias when it comes to that. But I also think Samad is brilliant as well, too. He's a great writer. And, uh, yeah, God, that, that's actually pretty interesting. I definitely, I mean, I'm excited to hear Samad's now and kind of put them in, you know, comparison with each other. Uh, Screwface, great job as always. That's going to do it for me, everyone. Be safe, be real. Don't forget to pursue your own happiness. And shit, I'll catch you all in the next one. Hit the subscribe button, by the way. Subscribe if you're still here. Because if you don't, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? So, do that. I'm out. I'll catch you all later.